We've got the Cable Matters brand XLRs here today. And with the cost of copper only going up, you might be tempted to try some of these budget options yourself, but are they gonna let you down? The connectors here are a copy of Neutrix XX series and they do an okay job of it. The tolerances aren't quite as good and consistency from one connector to the next isn't quite there, but it is a serviceable copy. These kind of copies never quite get the latch mechanism right though, in my opinion. It's not nearly as robust here and when the thumb button sticks up this high, they often get snagged on things and they just break off. So you gotta watch out for that when you're using these types of cables. The cable itself is pretty good though. The big reason to pick these over the Amazon Basics XLR is the braided copper shield this cable has. That's a copper shield wire that's actually braided around the other two conductors, and that creates a much more effective shield to block outside interference. The rubber jacket on this cable is thick, but pretty soft. This type of cable will get really floppy on an outdoor summer gig, and it won't stand up to the same type of abuse and nicks and cuts and things like that that the harder jackets you find on pro cables will. In a home studio or other controlled environment though, these could be just fine if you're careful. So while I wouldn't buy these to go out on tour or to outfit a professional studio for home use or stationary setups that don't see a lot of wear and tear from constantly being moved around, these Cable Matters XLRs are certainly better than a lot of other budget options I've looked at. Ultimately, if you buy good cables and take care of them, they should last you a very long time and that'll save you a lot of money and stress more importantly in the long run. That's it for the Cable Matters XLR cables. I hope this helps you choose the right cable for your next audio job. Thanks for watching.